What's up guys, it's Bucky, welcome to your 30 uh, second, I think, tutorial in Python. In this tutorial, I'm going to be getting into objects. Now, uh, you hear a lot about object-oriented programming, and Python is actually one of those uh, programming languages. So, uh, it's kind of a confusing topic, so I'm going to take it slow and try to explain to you guys exactly what it is, because all the other tutorials on the internet kind of suck at it. So, pretty much, an object is a thing that contains data and also has methods now a method in an object is pretty much just like a function but you call it a method when it's inside an object and it also uses data from that exact same object now object is um, a thing that has its built-in attributes to describe it so for example if I was an object Bucky you would probably describe me as um, uh, sexy like that um, so it would be object period um, attribute to describe it so Bucky is the object period attribute to describe it Bucky period man Bucky period smart I know I'm full of myself but and besides attributes to go along with objects objects also have something called methods as I showed you before and these are just like functions except they're in the objects and they use the objects data so what they would do is have something like this if Bucky was the object he would have a method called shave um, what else can this object do Bucky works with your empty parameters and also Bucky reads so that's how you would use a method on an object but before you do any of this stuff you need to build something called a class now what a class does is pretty much um, your blueprint for your object and you need to build a class before you can even think about building objects and it's kind of what your object is based on so here's how you make a class to make a class and this is the very first thing you do when building objects you go ahead and type class this tells Python that you're going to be building a class next make your class name I'm going to name mine example class now after you get your class name put a semicolon or excuse me a colon and go ahead and press enter now in your class you're gonna have a bunch of different types of data the first thing I'm gonna have is a variable and I'm gonna have eyes and this is gonna pretty much describe your class and gonna be, be overall use for your class so my eyes are blue so I'll put a variable in there called eyes blue um, age equals 22 and you can have a bunch of different variables to describe whatever class you're building of course I'm building one uh, that resembles me actually my eyes are brown but uh, that's that's not important now after you do this you can also have something called methods in your class and to make a method it's the exact same thing as making function so let's go ahead and do that so you put define or to create let's just make something called this method and the difference between making a method um, inside a class and making a function outside it is the methods in your class the first one has to be self as the first parameter so let's go ahead and I'll tell you why that is later but after you create your uh, method and name it make sure that first parameter is self now let me go ahead and press enter and uh, let's uh, make this method do something let's return hey this method I typed it right worked so now we have a method so inside our class we have one variable that has a string one variable that has a number and a method that just returns hey this method works now let's go ahead and press enter and create our class now if you type example class you can uh, get a weird message and sh just showed you that your uh, class was actually created now I showed you guys how to build a class which is pretty much like the blueprint now I need to teach you guys how to make an object and you need an object in order to get the data from your class so let's go ahead and make an example object and I'll name mine example object you can name yours anything you want and you need to set it equal to the class with empty parameters so I'm going to put my example class and have mine empty parameters now I just created an object which refers to this blueprint right here and now with your object you can get all this data inside of it 
So you can go ahead and press example object period eyes and that's how you refer to the variables inside your class or object and once you press this you're able to access all the information inside your object or class so go ahead and press example object um, let's go ahead and get the age 22 and you can also call your methods that you just made with your object using well it's probably the same syntax you think so example object again you need your object to access any of the information period um, what's it called this method and remember we're referring to this one up here and go ahead and, and get rid of that add empty parameters and it says hey this method worked so again that's how um, you build a class and again you need to make an object to refer to your class because you can build different things to refer to the same class so that's why or excuse me you can build many objects to refer to the same class so we need to build a specific object and uh, you'll see why later on but you just need to do that and then once you get your object built you can start referring to the data elements inside your class so again uh, you have to put a period and then what element or item you want to refer to so if you want to refer to the age variable you have to put your object and then age and again if you want to refer to a method you just put your name of your object and then your method after that so that's how you can call all your items out from your class so that's your uh, basics of object oriented programming in the next couple tutorials I'm going to be going in depth and uh, clearing all these things up for you but for now I just wanted to give you guys a quick uh, two dollar tour overview of what object oriented programming looks like in Python so hopefully you uh, stayed with me a little bit um, hopefully you understand this and in the next couple tutorials like I said I'll be clearing it up so thank you guys for watching uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next tutorial